Matt Wilson, the man they call Wheels, has joined us here on GoMustangSports.tv. I call him the physical specimen. Look at this guy. How are you? Uh, I'm all right, Matt. It's good to see you, man. I know I'd rather be talking to you after a win, but appreciate you coming up here. Um, I, I know you guys were depleted tonight. Mm -hmm. I, I, I get it. It's tough to feel good about a win, but it seemed like it was a pretty good defensive effort nonetheless. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it felt good. I mean, I've been playing with Jack and Eddie for the last five years, so we got a lot of great chemistry there. But, um, yeah, I mean, like Coach said, I mean, we get Quinn back, hopefully get Nick Mulvey back, and then we're back to normal. Eddie gets to go back up top, play LSM. But I was, I was very, very happy with how Eddie and Seals played tonight. They got to lock down their matchups and give me a little bit of space to play number four. But, uh, yeah, like I said, happy with how we played. Matt, you are one of the leaders of this team. You're a veteran. What is your message to these guys knowing, hey, this is not it? Like, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's tough. It doesn't feel good right now. But understanding you still have everything in front of you. Yeah. Um, before the game, um, during our like little huddle, went to the team, believe, uh, dominate, and trust. We just got to believe in ourselves, dominate our opponent, and, and trust each other in big big situations. And I, I, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We got Alvernia Saturday, two good practices, and then we're we're back home on Wednesday for I'm, I'm assuming Eastern. But um, well, I, I'm I'm not worried at all. I think we're good. We're in a good spot. We just got to do little the little things better, make the little plays big plays, and we'll we'll be fine. We'll be fine. I don't know if you heard, but your mom shared a story with us last week about uh, your recruiting trip here to Stevenson yeah. and something that happened. Would you be willing to, to read? <clears throat> it, it'd be better coming from you than it was coming from me. Yeah. Um, coach Pools giving one of his great Coach Pools tours. Um, we were walking down school of business, walking down the big steps, and there's a great view of the field. And um, I didn't realize the stairs kept going. So I kind of just looked at the field, tripped a little bit, and my mom tried to make some like little comment. Probably went right over coaches. Coach pulls his head, but <laughs> it was just uh, trying to trying to just make the right decision. And I, I can't thank coach enough for getting me here. And it's been the best. I mean, what is it? Six now, six years of my life. <laughs> so uh, thanks to coach. But yeah, my mom loves telling that story. I don't know why. But she says the comment was, "I'll be better than that when I'm on the field." I mean, yeah, I hope. I mean, I hope I so. Think that's I proven to be so. the case. Yeah, yeah, I hope so. I hope so. Um, I, I don't want to get too sentimental because, again, we're hoping there's a lot of games moving forward. But I don't know if this might be the, the last time I see you up here. I'm, I'm told your family's pretty confident that this time you mean it and you yeah. are moving on. Yeah. Um, can you put into words like what it's what it, what this has meant to you, this experience, and are you soaking it a little bit more every time you're out on the field? Uh, I mean, every time I touch the field, every day at 12:01 when I get out on the field or whenever we start practice, it's just another day where. You, you, you got to count your days. You don't know when it's going to end. And I, 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 like I said, I can't thank Coach Coach Canaby and Coach Pools, Coach DeFazio for letting me come back for another two years and furthering my education. And it's just been – it's honestly surreal at this point. I know my mom's probably bawling her eyes out right now. But uh, I'm trying not to right now, too. It just means so much to me that these guys, like, embrace me and just get to – just do what I love. It is awesome, yeah. That's awesome. All right. Uh, who do you want the uh, Eagles to draft? Uh, hopefully we trade back, thinking around the 16, 17 area. Uh, I, I wouldn't you mind. You want Robinson? I don't want him at 10. Okay. I don't want him All at right. 10, but I would, love, I would love to have him. If he's off the board, I wouldn't hate a Nolan Carter coming dropping to us, but uh, – or a uh, Devin Witherspoon from the cornerback from Illinois. That would be nice. That would be All nice. Right. All right. I want some of those guys I want in Baltimore, so I'm hoping you're not, that's not going to work out for you. Uh, Matt, it's been a, uh, an honor. It's been a pleasure. And I, I hope that uh, we talk to you again after a championship. Yeah. I hope that's the next conversation we have. Thanks for coming up and hanging out with us, and Thank best you. of luck moving forward. Thank you. Thank you, Clark. That is Matt Wheels-Wilson. I am Glenn Clark. This has been GoMustangSports.tv.